Hello everyone, uh, I'm Andrew Dardle from Qatar University and I wanted to share with you um, the online learning environment that we are using. It's Blackboard, which is familiar to a lot of people, but I think uh, not everyone was aware of the full capabilities of Blackboard to uh, provide an online learning experience. So I just wanted to walk you through an example of how I've been using Blackboard and uh, share this experience with you. So. I've got my courses here, so one of my I've set this up for all of my courses, but you can see here on the back end, uh, on the uh, navigation bar, uh, you can embed a uh, Blackboard Ultra, so you can add here a uh, tool link, and there is Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, so you create the tool link and you add it on the navigation bar here on the side and what that does is it creates the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra environment and it creates like an online classroom which I've been using uh, for kind of office hours during office hours I hang out in this classroom and students can drop in and talk to me uh, we can go into a, a small group uh, or one-on-one -on -one. Uh, so it's not uh, an invasion of privacy and other students listening in. Uh, but the sessions, so you can set sessions up. These are all the previous sessions for this course on a particular date. So students would come, log in, the session's live, they can jump in and they can see the previous sessions there. They can also view previous recordings. So these are some previous record, their recent recordings. We can. Uh, look up recordings within a particular range so let's say from March so these are all the previous recordings we've got students can come back to that at a later date and uh, go through that recording so um, back to the sessions here uh, let me just show you the course room and what that environment is like People can join the session by dialing in and putting in this PIN number if they really wanted to. Um, and the default participation for students is a participant. Uh, and I can choose whether they share video, audio, post messages. I can restrict them. Uh, and you can moderate private chats as well. Uh, and you can have large scale sessions. Uh, it really has been very, very versatile and very, very useful. So let's get into this course room and have a look at what it looks like. Once the course uh, room is active, you, it does not record by default. So you have to remember to record at the beginning of the session. So start recording. I've told my students to always remind me and they have. They've told me, sir, please don't forget to record the session. You can share your audio, share your video, or raise your hand. Uh, students use this function when they want to ask a question. Uh, here we have our uh, chat bar, so students can chat on this side. Um, we can see the attendees, who is the moderator and who is attending. Okay, And then we have some of our tools here. So we can have a poll, multiple choice question, yes or no question. Select the type of poll. Uh, while students are um, participating, they can also show their feedback. They can say they're happy, they're surprised, this is going too slow, this is going too fast, I'm away, I'm sad, I'm confused. So I can kind of get a feel for the virtual room as the session is progressing. Um, so back to the tools here, you've got the polling to do a quick quiz of students to see whether they understand what's being discussed. Um, you can share a whiteboard and, and, and talk here. So this we would call this a virtual uh, learning environment. Okay, so virtual learning environment. Uh, these are also called, these particular platforms, they can be called learning management systems. Okay, learning management systems. So a lot of people are using different platforms. We're using the Blackboard. It seems to be working quite well. Uh, we've also got the, the breakout rooms here. So for example, if I wanted to share some files with students, 
Uh, I'll add a file here and I will add another file here. Okay, and so I'll share this picture now. Okay, so this is a picture of a Starbucks cafe. And uh, let's say I tell them, have a look at this picture and compare it to this picture. Obviously, this is an issue of intellectual property, uh, comparing uh, the different trademarks and the different color, color schemes of the two cafes. Uh, one is obviously trying to rip off the other. So to get students to discuss uh, what are the elements of uh, trademark infringement, um, what effect does it have to have on the target audience, um, there's uh, a number of things uh, that they can discuss. So what I do is I can then break them up into breakout rooms. So assign the students into breakout rooms, one, two, three, and then in uh, each, each student I can um, put into this breakout room, have them discuss it individually, and then after, let's say, 10 or 15 minutes, they can come back, and as a class we can uh, consolidate all those points. So um, this library is maintained so in future classes you'll have all your files here. You can preload them, it's probably best practice to preload the files uh, before the class so you're not scrambling to find that PDF or PowerPoint file. Okay, um, there, there are some you can share another application. Uh, you can share uh, like a Microsoft Word window or you can share another uh, window from another browser but that functionality is only on the Windows platform. I uh, found on the, the Mac OS platform that uh, this functionality is not available yet but it, it seems to be coming. Um, prior to using Blackboard Collaborate um, uh, in the first one or two weeks, um, I used Zoom. And Zoom is just a communications platform. But what I did is with Zoom, you can record the Zoom session, and I was just uh, uploading it to a Dropbox. So I've got Dropbox, and I would upload the Zoom session to a Dropbox that the students could then uh, open and uh, look at afterwards. So that worked for like maybe uh, a week and it was fine, but it was a bit tedious because I had to upload the recording and um, whatnot. Uh, so uh, with uh, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, it all seems to be streamlined. You've got all of the, uh, the tools in one place, all of the recordings in one place. It automatically uploads and you don't have to worry about anything. So that's my experience with Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. So far uh, this semester it has done the job and in fact done the job quite well. So I'd be very interested to hear your comments and also learn from your experiences with your particular platform. Thank you very much.